No. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the UK Vape Show episode 278. Bobbles, bobbles, bobbles. 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 Well, <laughs> he's got that shirt on. <laughs> See the eyes in it. <laughs> Is that Vic? Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> in his younger years. Apparently, according to my brother, actually, Vic looks like um, Mrs. Brown's Mrs. voice. Mrs. Brown, yeah. Apparently, look like Mrs. Brown. I'm not even going to attempt the accent, not until I've had at least three cans. Anyway, uh, this is the UK Vape Show episode 278 with our special guest, Kira Views, who broke the cast last week. She didn't, actually. It was YouTube. It was YouTube. It was YouTube that broke it. All these fucking cyberpunk 2077 players. I'm one of them. We've also got... Another guest who'll be doing a live show, a very long live show for charity this coming weekend, who is, of course, Mr. Skint Vapor. <laughs> so who are we going to start off with? We will start off with the person whose last show this is. Mr. Gaz, oh. Flat evening, Cat everyone. Vapor. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing good today? Yes, it's my last show. I'm so Don't sorry. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Stop. Just leave now, guys. Leave now. <laughs> Last Christmas. <laughs> oh, cry. Don't do this to me. Fucking bit. I cry. What about you? You're not a bit emotional, wet pud. Guys, you know I'm emotional. I can't talk about it. Is that what, is that what you said in videos? You suck in sausages. <laughs> that was amazing. Like, it wasn't a sausage. It was a paper army. Oh, was it? Yeah, there's a difference. Wow, you've got a really small mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that one that advert you do too. Yeah, it, that paper on it massive. Do you want to be my boyfriend? Is that, I just thought that's how everybody ate paper armies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Regurgitate it and eat it again. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Was that a full size one as well? Because you, you ended a little bit sticking out your mouth. Was the rest of it still like. <laughs> it was a, it was a mini paper army full oh. disclosure. It was a mini paper army. I mean, funny though, is, is it me or is pepper army shrunk? They used to be about that big, and now they've gone like that. Yeah, no, even, the, the, these were the mini ones are supposed to be mini, but yeah, even the, the normal ones are small. So, Vic, so a pod can deep throat it. Yeah, I was gonna say, I love to see it with a banana. <laughs> it's easier than a banana. <laughs> We've, seen that. Than banana. We've done that, haven't we, Pad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've actually I've screenshotted that. It's the hard bit at the end, guys, will vouch. It's the hard bit at the end that gets you. <laughs> yeah, scratches your throat. Anyway. Right up to the marbles. Oh, I'm man. a major spy vape smile. I've got the bulk on top of that. And I'm very Christmassy, so I've got some honeycomb latte on drip packs. Ooh. Um, next, I'm on... I'm going to say this deliberately wrong, just to annoy Vic. I'm on the... I'm on this skep tree. The skep you tree by... fuck <laughs> off. By Anakin. The skep tree. Scepter. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I've got some got salts in there, the tropical red. Very, very nice. Um, also, I've got tropical red in the cog on the Ultrana Alieno. I do like that. The clear one. Um, and I'm on the, um, the Kazoku, Kazoku side by side jobby. Kizoku Unlimited with the Kizoku Tech mod. Oh, that looks good. That's, yes. I've not seen it with like that. Oh, look, twins. Sisters. Mm. That's a fucking good tank, that. Mm hmm. I'm been impressed with the actual stock coil though. No, oh, I used good. it as an RTA. Yeah. Oh, he does stock coil as well. It's, it's no good actually for that Kazulo though itself because it's underpowered. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, and what have we got in there? Oh, we've got some chemical clown. It is chemical clown, lemon and lime. Bam, bam. That's me. And that was Mr. Flatcap of the Vapor. Moving on to someone who's looking confused right now. But. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, this is suddenly just not firing properly, I don't know why, it's the, um, the Pandora and the Max, which until about a second ago was my favourite setup this year, and now it's not. I thought he got his shorts in a twist or something. I don't know, it's, it's either, sure it's... either that my mouth broke. Um, inside that I have got, um, where is it, this, some Nexus Fuji blend from Pod Salts. Then I've got one of these little things, the unlimited salt disposable raspberry twist, 20 right. milligram salts. They are quite shite, but I've got them there, so I'm going to use them. Uh, then I've got the Pro from fucking 
shit. Fucking shit. That's a good <laughs> fucking shit. Next mesh pro, and I've got that on top of the swell as well. That rhymed inside that. A little bit of absolute black current. And then we've got the Oxford Origin X, and I've got the stock coil in that with a little bit of this absolute fucking liquid crack as well. Some greedy bear marshmallow madness. And a little bit of mead. And that's me. Ooh. Mm. Eden of the little bro who is vaping. <clears throat> Bobbles! Bobbles! <laughs> Um, I did say this on the show uh, last night. Um, obviously, this week we, we lost a great man, uh, Les yep. Pickin, from the Juice Cabin. So uh, I just want to say a big love to all his family, um, Liam and his mum and everything. So, yeah, we, all of you, you, you were talking to him the other week, weren't you, Vic? He's going to be missed. Yeah. He is um, definitely going to be missed. He, he knew a lot of vapors in the UK. Uh, Paul McCartney, again, who were really close. I see you, brother. Big love. Uh, he was close to him as well, so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, big love to, to, to his family, and he's going to be missed. Uh, right then, we've got the new um, Wenex from um, Geek Vape. Vape. This has just come in. In that, I've got some cheap ass spearmint, um, which is Nick Salts. We've then got the Ursa with the pod on. This is the UV Pro Coils review just out for it. In that, I've got some of that juice and power um, red <laughs> apple slices. We've then got the Ursa Tank, which I put on the grooves. And in that, I have got some more juice and power. Um, honey honey and berry uh, kiwi mint. The mint. Oh, that's that's nice. Hot. That is lovely. Um, then we've got uh, the V-Rod from Aspire. Uh, in that, I've got some juice and power <laughs> Middle East sour cherry. Did they tell you you had to say it like that? <laughs> no, I just it just it okay. didn't you say it. <laughs> Go power. Power. <laughs> we've, we've, we've got the uh, Unlimit um, with, it's actually called the Tech Mod, isn't it? Yeah. Um, which was a, a lovely little present from my friend. I love you. Uh, in that, we've got some wonderful Rochford Project Crimson Seed. We've then got the FedEx from Aspire. Yeah, there's mine. Aspire. And then <laughs> we've got the Tallow from... Um, no, it's not Geek Vape, is it? Geek Vape. It's Geek Vape, yeah. The Tallow from Geek Vape uh, on the Soul Catcher. And in all of them, a little bit of festive stuff. Some candy cane. Ooh. Hmm. Over to you, look. And that was Mr. Aiden on to our two guests. Kira, what are you vaping on? A bit of this, a bit of that. You're going to shoot me for one of them, though. Um, sorry. So I'll, I'll, start off, I'll start off with something you won't shoot me for, right. um, the Argus GT kit, and in that I have some IBG uh, Tropical Ice Blast, and mm, for my Sims, this M18, and Strawberry Watermelon Chew by IBG, then the thing will do this one before Vic shoots me, because it will happen, Inakin Proton Mini, sorry, but in that I've got some Enigma by EVC, and then I've got the Gen S with the Asgard, and in that I've lost my. No, I haven't. It's here, Vapor Freaks Demon. That's it. Okay, you made up for it with the Asgard. I'll let you off. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to our other guest, Mister Skint yeah, of the brief. Vapors. Uh, of the Vapors. I'm very brief. I'm always brief. I've got the intake single and the. Uh, oh, look at look at that sexy bastard. Mm. On the. Uh... <laughs> Mine's is better. Mine's is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no legend. Is that a legend you've got, Vic? Is it's the legend, legend limit. Oh. Yeah, it's the same one. That, it's the same one. Eden's got the, the red frame one, the, the limited great editions. Nice. They're fucking great, aren't they? They're brilliant. They're great, Those perhaps. Are, uh, then takes angle on that, and what's in that? Skin Spish Water is in that. And <laughs> in the Gen S, I have the, uh, the Drugal Hot RT8, which Skin Spish Water is in that, and the Calvin <coughs> G. Which uh, is this uh, ferocious flavours? It's very nice. It's, it's a pineapple and raspberry one. Have you tried the ice cream one? No, the fucking wedding cake one or that, or the birthday cake? Yeah, I've got the birthday cake. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. I've got cheesecake. Why, it's gorgeous. Why, why is it cold? When have you ever eaten a fucking bit of oh, cake? Oh, mm, nom nom. That tastes <sighs> like birthday. What? So, they, sent me, they sent me the fantasy range like to try out and it's like do you want the iced version or the non-ice so i'm like nah don't go for the ice so just take the normal 
and they're all iced anyway, even the non-iced versions. <laughs> so he sent me an email saying, I'll send you ones that are not iced. The first one I tried was a birthday cake and it's fucking iced. <laughs> I didn't think that. What's that? Yeah, well, mine's fucking iced. I didn't, I didn't get that from me. Mine's just severely iced. It's not icing. <laughs> I, I had that with the apple. I had that with the fantasy apple that was a non-ice and it was a cool. Yeah, I know. Munchkin got all the iced version ones and I got the non-ice version ones and the both of them are fucking sick. Oh, I guess it's my turn. Uh, nothing changes with me. Ke- Kelpie uh, with peach custard. Uh, that uh, with... Uh, it's actually not black vine for a change. It's actually crimson seed. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, two Q minis, because I'm an elitist bastard. And, of course, Cog with a tobacco that looks like tar that I'm testing for someone on the clutch. Nothing changes at the house. It's all the same fucking stuff I vape on all the fucking time. Because I'm a creature of habit. I really do I... like your hat. No, I hope that's not going to be a habit. <laughs> we, all, face... we all said at the beginning, it does look like he's just come from a sum of his jamboree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I left well, my Santa hat at the fucking. Is he always dancing in his bed? Yeah, he's sat there. Should have two hankies in his hand, smacking himself <laughs> round face. <laughs> so, so anyway, I think it's time for the experiment. Oh, Ooh, aye. So here's the thing, people. I like a Guinness now. Recently, I've not been able to drink as much Guinness as I normally do because of the medication. But now I fucking can because I'm back on the old stuff. I have a subger. Right, and it's a little plate. You basically pour this like a normal lager. It doesn't fizz up because it's nitrogen. And you put your pint glass on the serger and it goes... And then stuff and things happen in the glass. The trouble is the serger fucked. So I am going to put a full pint of Guinness and an ultrasonic cleaner that's sitting behind me because it should do the same fucking thing. Is the can that dirty? Is this... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> is this going to go wrong? Are we going to? Is there any chance of you blowing up or anything exciting happening? Nope. <laughs> Stuart says the sur- the surgery is great. It is great. Thing is, I broke the fucking surgery plate. I'm just glad your rash is cleared up so you can drink again. See, look at that. It's poured. There's no. There's no. So what I'm going to do now? Is yeah, drinking with it. Is that the technical term, Vic? Pull my shorts up. Why is he getting his trousers down? I'm pulling them up. All oh, right. Nice pad that's got him down. He's got a lovely ponytail. <laughs> right, can I Where's the something? other end? I'm not being funny, but is he hiding a walk? He's got a tinsel. <laughs> is that... What? He's got a tinsel tissue. A tinsel tissue. Here we go, that's better. Right. This, is, this is either going to go horribly wrong or it's going to work. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Live with Vic. <laughs> is this the start of a new sports. channel, Vic? <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it on for eight minutes. <laughs> I'll just <something>, Vic. <laughs> You'll be all over your fan. You won't be wondering what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's his only fan, isn't it? <laughs> I know he's got an OnlyFans, but... Yeah, not it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to look at that. Yeah, you want to see where he pulls the tinsel. <laughs> Has it come yet? <laughs> He's going to go over the top of it. <laughs> I never actually done anything. <laughs> it's the least exciting thing I've seen in my life. Yeah, he did kind there, of... <laughs> there's videos on YouTube with people using their ultrasonic cleaner as the subger and it worked. Yeah, but do you I not put it in for some amount of time? That was only in for like seconds. No, it was instant. But no, it didn't work. Fuck. Just give it, give it a sugar, mate. Well, that was an utter waste of time. It's got a head on it, though. Is it drinkable? Mm. It's like a normal Guinness, but it's just not quite as fizzy. Like a naughty boy then, didn't he? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh... so, so it didn't work, then? That was rubbish. Did you, do, did you do those kind of experiments on yourself? Put himself in an ultrasonic cleaner. What? <laughs> he's small, but he's not that small. You imagine trying to get up in the boot position. I'm going in, I'm going in. <laughs> Shut the lid. <laughs> so, can you not just buy another then? Yeah, I'll need to go into Amazon and buy another serger. That was an utter letdown. I thought you were going to see the, 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 the thing go... Pfft. Can you not just buy a can that's already busy? They ran out. What? They ran out. That's the one with your balls in it. Yeah. Uh, 
the oh, ones right. with the wee budget. <clears throat> so they ran out of budgets. Yeah, they ran out of the normal, you know, the normal black cans of Guinness draft. They ran yeah. out, none left. Do they have no no original in. I don't like the original. Oh, I love original. I'm not a fan of the stout. Not a fan of it. Too bitter for me. I tell you what, I don't like. I don't like that Mackesons. I don't like milk stout. Hmm. So told you. My reviews. So the, the 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 experiment didn't go to plan, really. Key reviews. I like what you did with the name of the channel. It's clever. Not my idea. It's very <laughs> clever. Just say it was, don't worry. All right, it was all my idea. It was, it was a all great right. idea, yeah. You take all the credit. <laughs> so you, you're doing extremely well. You've got seven videos out. You're currently at 178 subscribers. I think um, Nightbot should be spamming out the link, Vic. Is Nightbot behaving? If not, I'll oh, do it now. fuck, Nightbot. He's not done it, has he? <laughs> did tell you Anyway. You um, am I right in saying you were put under a little bit of pressure to start your reviews? Not not like forced to, but people were people were like saying you should do it, you should do it, you should do it, and you're like, nah, 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 and then eventually yeah. you've got for it. <laughs> it's not like Simon with a fucking. I had I had a helping shove, yeah. Helping shove. How are you finding it? <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. But I Give think the year. first time. Yeah. The, uh? Give it a year, <laughs> it wears <laughs> off. <laughs> the first couple of times you do feel like a bit of a prat sitting there talking to a camera. Yeah, but it's when you get past that and the camera gets a name and then you end up talking to it for hours, that's the problem. It's already got a name. Oh, it needs a new one because it's not a very nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a C920 by any chance? It is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they've all got bad names. <laughs> But yeah, you kind of got 1,516 views. The channel's been up for years, but I'll take it you had the channel or, or you were going to do something originally or you just when is that when you opened your account, I guess? February. When I opened the account and I put all the stupid things I get up to on holiday on. Mm. Oh. But I've hidden them now, so you're not <laughs> going to find them. Sorry. 182 now. Thank you. Cheers, Viking. Cheers, Viking. Big love, Viking. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> And Skint, we already know about you. Oh, yeah, no. fucking <laughs> sick of hearing about me, I think. <laughs> I'm sick um, of hearing about me. Have we, have we lost the book then, Gaz? Or have you just thrown it away now you're not doing lives? I do, I do but it's, it's, it's got another purpose. Do you want me to get straight onto that now? Yeah, get your book out. Yeah. We've got a special, a special award ceremony, folks. Um, so we all thought the Vapor Round Awards was big. We thought the EC <laughs> Click Awards was big. This is... I thought you said fixed then. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, anyway. <laughs> this is the biggest award ceremony of the year. This is very important. It is the... Du, 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 du. The Proper Coils Discount Code Awards 2020. <laughs> du, 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 du. So, as you all know, we're all fortunate enough to have discount codes with the Proper Coils website. Uh, Puds, what's your discount code? Pud plus 10. Vic? I can't fucking remember. He's vaping with Vic 10. Aiden? Little bro vapes 10. And mine, of course, is the shortest of the four. Flat cap vape. Flat, Which flat means you've probably won. That gives him an unfair advantage, doesn't it? Less it typing, so I'll use, I'll use guys, I. So, from last place to first. Now, I won't actually be telling you how many uses you had of your discount code. Wow. I will tell you the gap between each of us. So, in, you all look so nervous about it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Darth. Cheers, William. Cheers, Darth. Cheers, William. In fourth place. See if I'm least... last, guys, you're sacked. <laughs> Me. In fourth place with the least amount of uses. Vaping with Vic 10. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Vic. Um, in third okay. place. Can we just maybe suggest that he pulls out a sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty useless. Anyway, in third place with one more use than fourth place. Only maybe one. Me though. Hard past ten. <laughs> right, I'm gone as well, mate. <laughs> in second place, with 19 more uses than third than third place. So that's a big big gap. Little bro vapes ten. 
He's picked an award he's fucking won. Yeah, of course I have. Fucking fucks. 31 Ragged. more uses. 31 more uses in the second place. Black Cap 10. Thanks, everyone. Thanks Ragged. to Proper Cause as well. Ragged. I think John's sitting there with a big woody cash right now going, thanks, Flat Cap. <laughs> Isn't that yeah, what is no, it? He gets said bigger <laughs> fucking coils than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big thanks to Proper Cause. That was much appreciated. Apparently next year, our codes are going to be abbreviated, so they're all the same length. <laughs> Because it apparently is an unfair environment. So have, you get, have you got an award for the best pod and the best aid in there? Or no, it... just me. Just, just yourself. <laughs> God, you've got to leave on a high, haven't you? <laughs> you? At least I've won something this year. There we go. <laughs> hey, hold on a minute. You won uh, Blazins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Vic wasn't happy about that either. You never even got placed, did you? Yeah, that's... I think you was, were you third, third, second or third in that? Uh, second or third, something like that, yeah. I thought me and Blazing were like that. I've been in every, in every single month's reviews. <laughs> Get the money up. <laughs> Mark yeah, H, I don't know about Late Night Vape Show. He just, um, John just sent me us four, so I don't know where everyone else came. Well, that, plus I hardly ever mentioned that code because I couldn't fucking remember it. It's your name. Yes, yeah, well, I couldn't remember. With ten at the end. He's <laughs> that there going, look, um, it's medium ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's no more awards? Well, no, no more that I've won anyway. <laughs> you could have just made an award thing up for us. I know, so, I, I, I know, that was very short. I feel as if I was kind of primed up for a proper ceremony there. Like everybody's... <laughs> he sent it in our chat earlier, didn't he? There's, a, there's some, some awards. Yeah. Thinking, oh, right. That was it. That was, was amazing. Bigging it all up. No wonder he's fucking weaving, I'll tell you. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I bet he's not read the text message properly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? Wear a suit and stand at a thing and accept my own award and present it? That's a bit weird. <laughs> I think yeah. there should have been maybe That's several awards. Made out of macaroni. Here you go, Daddy. <laughs> I could wipe my own ass. <laughs> Ian White, welcome to the live chat for the first time. A oh, first timer. Who? A virgin chatter. So, Skint, have you guys moved to Saturday now, then? No, it's just... But uh, Why are we doing it Saturday? Are they still live in Scotland? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? Saturday, Saturday's got too much sun. <laughs> for just to stay a long Saturday, just past Carlisle. <laughs> Crossroad from Wednesday. Going into Vic, that's still Scotland. It is. So, when, when are you actually starting? Uh, 11 o'clock Saturday night. Uh, we, the reason we moved to Saturday, I think, is because Mrs S is... I've sort of had to bribe her to grab the kids and do a runner for the night. Mm. And uh, she could do it and she couldn't do it on Friday, she could do it on Saturday. And Saturday night Vaporways on before us, doing the warm up for us of course. Fluffing. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll give you a good fluffing up. So it's eleven o'clock on Saturday night. <laughs> Twelve hours you're doing. Yes, why do you keep saying that? You're reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> You've set up, I think that's it's a third it, time. You've set it, it, yeah. You're going to have to pace, pace yourself with a drink, I think. Uh, I don't, you, you could you could just get really smashed at the start and slowly sober back up. And then get smashed again. And then get smashed again <laughs> before you go to bed. <laughs> just keep doing it. Back and forward. Whatever you do, don't do what I did on my first ever charity live stream. Just carry on drinking all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> then you, you start again at seven o'clock in the morning going, he's a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> so wanker. That's the longest years I've done, any of you. Uh, I did 12 hours. I did, did two, a bottle and a half of vodka. Jesus. In six and three quarter years of running this channel, I have never done a charity live stream. Have you not? Because well, I don't have the patience for it. I just join other people's live streams. If I was to sit here in front of this camera for 12 hours... I would go slowly insane. That would no, be I, I, hilarious. I beg. I, can I can I share my screen? Fuck. <laughs> Depends what's on it. Depends what's on it. It's it's, it's you doing a charity stream. Ah, go on then. It's that. <laughs> <laughs> just for anyone that's new, like Virgin Charters that are just in, obviously. Uh, Whether well, they'd like to see this, it's not letting me. 
It's not um, letting you. Oh, He's saying the host is disabled participants. The host is currently on a power trip. He won't let you shoot nothing. How do you? How do you, how do you <laughs> How do you switch he on? He didn't then? win an award. <laughs> so how the fuck do you switch it on then? Um, um, oh, you go to... Uh, I did this as well. Allow to record. No, it's not that. You need to click the share screen button, Vic, and it, the option's in there. Oh, multiple participants. There you go. Uh -huh. Try it now. Yeah, I can do it now. Right, so this is uh, something I found looking through the archives. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Victor Mullen in the scud. That That's was a long, picture. long time It's the ago. fucking chest here that got me. What's that all about? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Magnum. I know, it's, it's all for your fanny, isn't it? <laughs> the moustache. Like it's up as a fan. Up fan. You know, the best thing about it is somebody's cut Kelvin Guy out, put us all on the Sav show and left um, <laughs> Jay out and put him in instead. <laughs> <laughs> I shared, I shared that last night in three men of it show as well. That was a long <laughs> time ago. It's oh, amazing what you can find. I don't think they I don't think they could see it for the banner. Oh shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it cuts out your tits. Mate. Yeah, that 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 video's I think that video's still up in the um the yeah, UK that's Network it. channel. Yeah. The video's what still channel up. channel is it? It's v the Vape UK Network. V U K N. I wanted uh chunk put. A lot of old stuff back up there, didn't he? He did. I think you get it all time. back up so you could you could watch all the old like uh, obviously we did last of the summer vapes reunion this week. You can you can watch all the old shows. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, they're all <laughs> back Cunts. up again. <laughs> uh you're getting quite a lot of abuse in there. Am I? <clears throat> so it must be getting time to skint. cast this question. Is it? Oh, is that? Fuck so it is. Okay. Well, yeah, if, if nobody's seen any of the old shows on the UK network go and uh, go and have a look because some brilliant ones and i'll tell you what a good one to look on is the friday night one that you did as well vic we aries oh tbc everybody loved that show they wanted yeah. it to come back because they used to find deals and like before we did deals or anything like that they used to find deals was it a deal or was it a steal and yeah steals and deals that was a good show that <laughs> chunk says he gets lots of copyright emails for that channel <laughs> <laughs> okay, casters, questions from the UK Vape Show Facebook group. Who are we going to start? I've got a really sweaty head with this. Yeah, fucking my head. fucking head is fucking roasting <laughs> us all with this damn troll be on. Um, hey, Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, it's your birthday. Okay, that's, I don't, I'm trying to wrap my head around this. From Full Moon, if you could use, if you could only use mods by Smock, right? The Rigel's a good mod from Smock, but use any tank dripper under 50 quid, what would your setups be for everyday use? So pick a Smock mod and put a tank or a dripper on top that's under 50 quid. All right. I would probably... I wouldn't mind going back to my old Smock Alien. Remember the first Alien that came out? I'm surprised they haven't made an Alien 2. Old Smock Alien in, I think it was Crown V1 or 2 was about about that time. Yep. I stick them together. The only thing is you need to watch with your Crown coils. You had to get V3 or V4 because V1 and V2 didn't work. Yeah. The only trouble is, is the reason why they had done an Alien version 2, they're still taking all the ones back from the version 1 because the paint fell off. The 510 was quite bad for just randomly fucking disappearing into them as well. <laughs> Screwing it in and there's like fuck all there. I'd probably go with a X Cube 2. Oh, remember that? It's like a brick. Well made thing. I didn't like the screen on the top though because you drop a little bit of juice on it, it leaks through mm, and then the screen don't work. I'd probably have like the bulk. The bulk probably go cloudy. Mm. X Cube 2. And the bulk. I yeah. would go for the Smock Rigel. Dual, dual 21 700s and a small form factor wedge shaped mod with tanker dripper under 50 quid that's relatively good um is he going to be from the same time period no so that don't be mad that fuck it kyle and money v2 that would do i'm not really i've not really done that much with smokes i always stayed away from them <laughs> 
Guten Tag, Andreas. Go on, then, what do you have? Uh, I think I'd... Well, oh, fuck, what do you call it again? The touchscreen. What's it? G-Priv. I've got the original oh, G-Priv still one, there, actually. and it still works yeah. perfect. I probably have that and the trigger. It's under. Is it going to be a smart tank, no? No. No? The trigger, then. Right in the trigger. Is it easy to wick, that trigger? It's a piece of pash. It's a doddle. Yep. <laughs> Mr. It's, a doddle. it's a doddle. It's a doddle. It's a doddle. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd probably go for one of the pens. Uh, one of the pens? Yeah, one of the pens and then stick a... What would I stick on it? I'm going to go a bit... I'd probably stick a Cleto on it. Go a bit old. That'll do it. See, you know, I've got a mate that uses one of the pens with like a TVF 12 or whatever on it. 18 milligram juice, sub woman. <laughs> He's fine. Loves it. <laughs> Keeps him off the cigs. So. Yeah, proper like proper sub woman. <laughs> well, well, yeah, he's like got it like maybe 30 watts or something, but it's still like 18 milligram fucking juice on. <laughs> 18 in direct to lung. He, go, he goes between that and fucking woodbine, I think. But, eh? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, it's always a little um, eight, oh, eight, I'm see you, sweet tea. Eight, eight, eight vape stuff and that that he um, gets in B&M and whatnot. Okay, did you answer that one? The biggest thing about that is it doesn't really matter what, how people do it as long as it's keeping them off the sinkies. Uh, that's, the, that's the thing. Okay, did you answer the smoke question there? Oh, sorry. Um, I'll turn up at some point tonight. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> <Your thing. laughs> um, smock mod any RDA or RTA? Any yeah. RDA, RTA, suborbital tank, anything in the weather. I would have the alien with a cyclone RDA. Oh, there's one you don't hear a lot of people mention these days. The cyclone. That's <clears> actually <throat> a damn good dripper. That. I don't. Smoke hadn't been as bad recently, though. Is like take them back to like two thousand seventeen. Their tanks are still shit, but their mods are good. <laughs> see that the smoke I like. See if it wasn't a Stevie Wonder that stitched the stuff around about the outside. It wouldn't have been so bad. It would actually been not too bad. But... See the tr the trouble with smoke is that they've now surrounded themselves with other companies which weren't that bad. You know, like your Tofos and stuff yeah. like that, and Next Mesh and and whoever else they've now got in the the, the little hold. Yeah, they're they're them and them and vapor so slash smear. They're busy hoovering up all the smaller companies. They've been doing yeah. that for a long time now. Good question, Mister Full Moon. Made me think, Matt Chandler. I spoke as well. Oh, that worries me. That's actually a good one. That's actually a good one from Matt. That worries if, me just as much. <laughs> if you had to vape, if you had to vape just one range so it's not one just one whole range so it's basically pick a company if you had to vape just one range of e-liquid what would it be rochford project rochford yeah. rochford not a sponsor by the way yes for me <laughs> <laughs> all the way elements Element, no. Element. elements although elements like you'd have to get proper coils then wouldn't you <laughs> all right like rochford elements yeah. juice was the reason why i learned to build Yo, you'd have to as well because they destroy your coils. <laughs> I thought it's I thought all it's costing you is cotton then. Fuck it, it's fine. As long as it's only costing you cotton and not twenty quid a pack of coils, ten quid a pack of coils. Element Element were a, a good uh, da, da, da. not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was sponsor me, not not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I would probably go with Fresh Vape Co. Oh, Quite enjoying their stuff. Never heard of them. I've been having you. Saying that though, Shy Tots is a close second for me. See, I keep hearing about I, Shy Tots. I've never tried them though. Then you need to. Yeah, no. I tried them. I fancy a bit of Stan's juice. How's it? How are you doing? So, um, Skint, have you actually answered this one? No, I mean, I, I've not tried as much juices as you guys. Because you make your own, don't you? But uh, I think if I was to pick a juice, uh, just Vapeco is good, but it's a lot of fruit. I don't particularly like fruits. I'm absolutely loving these uh, ferocious ranges. Um, mm. uh, desserts. But it's about the only desserts I've tried, so it's difficult. 
I'd probably say Skint's Pishwater range, <laughs> which is one. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Art has actually said Higgy's, Higgy Sigs, but um, he obviously he costs so much to get it across. That's the it? postage, that's mm. the killer for Higgy. I really want to try the Aries Ram. I've heard people yeah. go on about that so much. Oh, but Aries like, Ram is I remember so fucking good. I think it was Ronnie and I were going to put an order together to save in the postage, and even at that, it was still fucking ridiculous. You need to go. You need to go for a bulk order. So what uh, I used to do is I used to go. I used to go for uh, something like three hundred mil of Aries Ram, two hundred mil of Peach Street Peach Tree Street, which was a peach custard. Hence why I made my own because I was missing it so damn much, and a hundred and twenty mil of Gwen's Fluffermint. Her there that used to do the show with me. Um, it's a it's a marshmallow candy cane mix, very refreshing. Mm. But if you put a bulk order in, the postage kind of remains the same. There's a it's, uh, it's it's nothing like Royal Mail with you with with UPS over in the United States. You can put a fucking huge order in, and you end up saving money because you're ordering in bulk, but still at the same postage rate. But you're still talking about what fucking sixty sixty five dollars in postage. Oh, oh. So he, oh when we were on the network as well, they used to give out Higgy Six codes, didn't they? Yep. Like you could have these dollar packs and all that, but it costs you that much for the postage. I mean, they, they sell at concentrates and that as well, don't they? So you could really make it worth your while, but it's still fucking $60. That's like, you could kick yourself out for, with just for a couple of weeks with that over here. Did, did David ever say why you didn't actually get some sort of vendor here to, to take it on? Or? Nobody was interested because at that point in time, when, when Higgy Sigs was trying to work their way over here, there was a shitload of US companies that were trying to muscle in mm. on the UK market and none of the vendors and none of the distributors were interested. Because think about it, there's enough decent UK there's enough decent UK juice manufacturers here already. Yeah. Sad, because it is good juice, I've heard. That is good juice. Anyway, that was a good question. Um oh. Kieran Doyle, the Irishman. To all casters. <laughs> Yeah, I know who this is direct. Plus, it's in little brackets. To all casters, what's your opinion on doorbells? Sorry, Kira. <laughs> well, we got to hear the story about this first. Yeah, I think we need a story here. Yeah, what's what's going on? <laughs> Do you not know? No. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> so, oh no! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh fuck uh, right so for those people that don't know me i have many kiraisms in a week and during lockdown the first one my kids drove me nuts and i went on a mad cleaning spree just to get little breaks from them so on the ground floor of my house i go three floors and I'm cleaning everything from door frames and door handles to light bulbs like me and Zaflora are best friends and all that to switches, right? If anybody that doesn't know me see Let's Zaflora and that's not sponsored either. Um, but... A new view, but I fucking love Zaflora sponsor. <laughs> so I've gone around cleaning everything. And then I've missed about 12 Amazon parcels, probably a day, but... <laughs> they then get re-delivered. I'm hanging out of a window upstairs going, is that for me? <laughs> right? But I thought, no, I'm not going to ring them. I can't. The doorbell not working. I'm not going to ring them. I'm going to be nice. It's locked down. Don't want people in my house. And I don't, you know, they're not going to come out anyway. And it saves me having a go at someone down the phone. So we come out of lockdown. And because of obviously needs within the household, they put us on the priority list to get the doorbell fixed. I'm a dickhead. <laughs> Why? Because we've got like, on the top floor of the house, we've got like um, a camera thing, monitor, I don't know, like a doorbell telly. I don't know what it is. Oh, right? the ring doorbell monitor screen thingy me bobs. We're not that posh. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. No, I think it was fitted back when Christ left Dumbarton, but you know. <laughs> um, and the screen weren't coming on or anything. So I was like, 
I, I don't know what happened to it. Did did rain get into it? Like, it's dead. It's gone. Like, what? And they turned up and the man walked in and went, what's wrong with it? I went, it's not ringing. I put a thing on the door because I said to him, I went, you need to make sure that you knock loud or ring me when you're outside. So I put a note on the door saying, doorbell fixer man. Do not <laughs> ring doorbell. Doorbell is broken. Ring my mobile or knock loud. No, he didn't do that. He shouted and tried to ring the doorbell. Right. <laughs> so I go downstairs. What's the problem? Well, I don't know. That's why you're here. Oh, tried ringing the doorbell. He went, yeah, there's no sound coming from it. Well, yeah, I know that one. He went, where's the on off switch? I went, it's got an on off switch. Uh oh. Are you a bit aggressive with your My cleaning? fuse box is a switch that isn't labeled with anything. And in my Zaflora madness, you flick the switch. I cleaned it off. <laughs> cleaned I've it just off. had a fucking tremendous idea. Hold on. I think I know why my doorbell doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so for six months, I didn't have a doorbell and spent most of my time hanging out of that window looking like, I don't know, like Titanic, like, you know, Jack I'm flying, waiting for an Amazon parcel when I could have just gone downstairs and tried flicking a switch again. But I didn't actually know what the switch was for because the switch wasn't labelled. And when I pressed it, no lights went on and off. So I just thought it was like a dummy switch. Well, I can tell you there are hundreds of people that do that kind of thing all the time. So don't feel bad. Trust me, <laughs> I see it all the you time. You know what? I laugh at myself all the time, so it's absolutely fine if other people do as well. <laughs> Is it me or when did Black, uh, when uh, Pud got up there and looked like the only gay in the village? Because <laughs> <laughs> he is. Did you see him in them shots? Just, just keep it, everyone keep an eye on Pud scream when he walks back. That's all I'm he's saying. He's the only gay in the village. I thought it was a skirt. <laughs> You'd say you've been watching volleyball a lot. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I think my idea is like bullshit and I don't know what was in my head, but never mind. Yeah, they've all seen the shots now, pud. No, well, we had a doorbell that no one ever rang until a month ago and now everybody rings the doorbell. So we've been in this house for three years and no one ever rang a doorbell. And now everybody's doing it. The postman, the DPD man, Amazon. This is after for the memo that pud's got a doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> they, never, they never used to ring it and then all of a sudden they're all ringing it I don't get it do you know my, when my dad goes shopping he take, he's he got one of them all that plugs in the doorbells that plug in he unplugs it that's what my mum does and I go why, why have you unplugged it dad he says because I'm not in she unplugs it <laughs> <laughs> and do you know does she take you with him and it's not just that. See, see, when she goes out to do shopping she unplugs the TV as well yeah. and it's like why are you unplugging the TV Oh, it's to save electricity. It's switched off on the TV itself. Oh, no, it's to save electricity. The man told us so. The man. Who the fuck's the man? I tell you what, anybody <laughs> over the sort of like our age, like man, man of it, you know, like 40 odd year old is, you sit there. Can you remember when you when it started thundering and lightning? Your mum and dad used to turn the television off, unplug it. He'd direct unplug everybody the aerial. In silence. Yeah, unplug the aerial, unplug the telly, switch off the VCR. Everything. It's going to hit the aerial, come down, explode, and you're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, we're fine. You're all right. We're here. Uh, uh. I think we know why Aiden is traumatised. <laughs> Mum, you're wearing plastic soles. You'll be fine. <laughs> everybody in, everybody in. It's lightning. Turn it off. Turn everything off. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the next question. Hooked on Funk, who is the person that makes these rather, rather lovely raps for your Geek Vape Aegis, your Geek Vape Aegis legend? Rather not, not a sponsor, by the way. Not a sponsor. But yeah, very nice raps. That's who Hooked on Funk is. Um, if you could have done something different vape-wise in 2020, what would it have been? I'll go first. I should have opened up a bigger office and studio a hell of a lot sooner than I did this year. I should have done it at the very beginning of this year. Um, I would probably get somebody... <laughs> Fuck off, Aiden. <laughs> we get somebody professional when they do those shelves, I think. That's what Pips. you would have done. Yeah, 
Vic, Vic was stuck between that and getting one of those machines that counts as money for him. Uh, <laughs> what did you yeah, call I, it, I think I would have got a professional. I would have got somebody more professional to come in and do my shelves and <laughs> decorate. <laughs> Maybe get somebody that knew, knew a bit about sound panels. You could have phoned me up and just gave me a left dinner. I'd have just stuck everything on me, no more nails. You'd have been done. Well, that, remember that sticky stuff that I didn't think was, was sticky, but was really sticky. I should have used that. Sounds sticky. It is quite sticky. Huh? <laughs> I can't think of anything. I can't be I've been bothered to do any more than I've already done. Oh, come on, there must be something, guys. Something that you wish you'd have done. What about, sooner. What about you would have chose not to leave all your friends in the life? Oh, oh, oh <laughs> damn it. I, knew so, I was waiting for someone to pick that up, yeah. Or maybe you wish you just left there well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not waiting so long. We're older than that, you see. We're older than that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every time I show that wall, Gail appears in the chat. I love it. <laughs> Um, I don't know, there's not that much because he couldn't really do that much this year, could you? We well, were all locked up. Locked up, not a lot of stuff coming out all year, really. Never stopped me from getting a bigger office. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 you said, to be honest with you, half the fucking year you won there. Yeah. <laughs> All on this show. He yeah. said he doesn't care about me. It was all about the space for me, really, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's what it is. It's more space for pods. That is. There's more. There's I've more got, problems. I've got to admit, though, you, your actual new backdrop does look uh, really good. That is doing and the I, track. Who's got a budgie? Um, Skint. Skin. Fuck off. <laughs> Chats asking. <laughs> They They're in the tree. They're in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> the, free, the free range. They're Did African. They're African no, budgies. You can tell, you can tell by that. You can tell by that kind of grating squawk that they do. They're squawk, African right? budgies. <laughs> Louise says you did really well on your decorations as well, Vic. They are some good decorations. I love the decorations in there. In fact, were you telling us that South African budgies have got accents there? African? Don't, hold on, listen to them. Listen to them. Skint, Is say that something. Like... Skint, skint, just keep keep talking, Skint, because the land up when you talk. Here. <laughs> see, when you talk about them, just keep the go louder. Don't talk about them. Hear that squawking noise? African budgies do that. They kind of... Maybe that's why I can't understand them. They've got... Talk African. It's the African, the South African accent. It's the accent, yeah. It's messing you up a bit, yeah. I'll tell you what, I walked to the shop earlier and there were fucking South African uh, sparrows as well. And... <laughs> Biggest thing where, real... where they've been living up with you, mate, they've got a little bit of a Scottish twang as well. Can you? <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> sleeping bag. See, the reason that I know all this is because my dad used to actually, but my dad used to actually breed them because back, not so much now, but back in the seventies and eighties, just rubbing them together. <laughs> but back in the seventies, back in the seventies first... and eighties, here, here's the thing: in the seventies and eighties, that's a new actual, channel, but they were the what? That's a new channel. Budgie. Yeah, I know. How, how, breeding with Vic. Big budgies just rubbed them Budgie together. Bomb. But in the 70s and 80s, there was a lot of money in them. <laughs> so then we were those great big gloves that you like seven, eight cows with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Let's that, just imagine how you would do it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, so you know, so fucking it. budgies have you seen... <laughs> He's the first man to milk a budgie. You know when you were at the school and you had to get rid of the chalk out of the, duck, the blackboard dusters and you're kind of like that a little bit and you clap them together? I thought you were actually holding their things when you were doing this. Board rubbers. <laughs> I, apparently my dad bred budgies as well. There you go. Yeah, there was a lot of money in them. <laughs> Will that... you just get it in? All right, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Was, was that a flashback you had then when you because you, you were the first to do this? Is that like a... I don't know, but my dad's had like loads of hobbies, and every time he gets a hobby, something happens. Like, I think all his budgies died. He then started taking up golf, he injured himself doing that. He decided he was gonna buy a motorbike, he fell off that. He just doesn't do well with hobbies. Was <laughs> your dad Michael Crawford? <laughs> I think he's got balance issues. 
<laughs> I'm gonna lose money on it. I'm gonna start How do you make getting in together. <laughs> I think there's money in there. Tomorrow, all of the budgies, come on, you bastards. <laughs> yeah. oh, it was I'm an egg. <laughs> I think chart of losses. Grizzly oh, thinks the budgies took up golf now. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, moving on. I got cockatoo in the eyes. Never look at them the same again. Kevin, how you doing? That's all Eden's that's all Eden's gonna be thinking about tonight now. Get a South African cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Fucking <laughs> 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 I'd love to see a review on that, wouldn't you? That's a close up. <laughs> Stick them together, South African. <laughs> Stuck to a C920. This is Vic 510 spring loaded. Yes, it is, Vic. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, moving on. I need to get us back on the fucking rails. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, that's a confusing question. Skipping that one. Oh. 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 Okay, this, this one's never actually been asked before. In the fucking five and a half years of doing this, no one's ever asked us. Carly Kettle. Question to all. What question would you ask the viewers? Oh, that's a good question. Do you make budgies? <laughs> <laughs> Move away from the budgie thing. <laughs> I know they've shut up. Stop talking. A seven inch cockatoo. <laughs> Um, uh, I'll ask him who should replace me. No, oh, don't ask that. Thing. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> right, chat. Do your worst. I seen in chat. They said you should hold X Factor editions or something. God, someone with a bigger code. <laughs> <laughs> a longer code. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd probably be something like if you could see anything happening on the show on a regular basis, what would you go for? What would they like to see happen? That's what I was going to go for, actually. There you go, straight in there, unlucky, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go for any tips, suggestions about what you would like to see in the UK Vape Show for 2021. No, we are not looking for suggestions for someone to replace Gaz's spot next year because we don't have a fucking clue either. My brother. We do, just steal the guess. Because you're we irreplaceable, Gaz. Aww. But you're going to be dead to us after today, so don't worry yeah. about it. Gaz, who? <laughs> Right, <laughs> like you said earlier that we're just getting straight out of chat afterwards after the show. <laughs> You're yeah. gonna take me out of all groups, aren't you? Just <laughs> gone, <laughs> gone, unfriended. Maybe passed out the Illuminati. He doesn't know it yet. <laughs> unfriended. <laughs> question. That is a good question. Darth Vapor, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Darth. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to Google this. Actually, once we're done, I actually YouTube uh, how dogs do it because I heard they get stuck together and apparently they do. Yeah, they do they like in round as well, so they don't even face each other. It's like being married. It is absolutely madness. <laughs> have you ever seen that? <laughs> They're fucking insane. There is no separating them either. Yeah, there is. Take a uh, chainsaw to them. It no, bounce off. I, 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 I want, when I was younger, when I mean like like nine, ten year old, I once watched a woman. They were just stuck in the middle. That was the days when you had white dog poo as well. They, they went over and they just lobbed a bucket of water over him, and they soon went. I was going to say like a wee ice cube to the testicle or something. And just <laughs> <trouble with you. laughs> I thought you just showed the male a picture of Anne Whitcomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Yeah, I'm sitting here fucking melting because that's fucking hot. Hold on. What's he doing? I don't know, but... Play with his fan. He even shuffles on a chair, part. doesn't he? We'd move his fan. He's the kind of guy... Like, that that trail down his back has got a definite culture club feeling to it, hasn't it? Oh, we've seen your ass crack there, Vic. 
I don't want to take the hat off because I think it's a bet. No one else is taking their hat off yet. No. Fucking sitting here, fucking melting. Um, I can't really think of a question. What you'd ask chat? What you'd ask chat? Why are you watching this show? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. That's the question that's been in everyone's mind for the past five and a half years this show's been running. <clears throat> it's still here, mate. It's still here. It's still here. I, I can't see, think of one, I'm sorry. You, you could see, you could actually see the wheels the wheels turning in Aiden's head trying to think I'm about something there. Um, He's just got this still. This is still going on. Is it? <laughs> it is, yeah. The thing, the thing, the thing it just keeps popping up in my head. How do you make budgies? <clears throat> the same bomb. as what we had when we were at Expo. How do you milk hedgehogs? Dave, it comes from the anus of a beaver. I've read about it. <laughs> That's where I the question first. <laughs> um, he's asking um, for, to go and Google where you get artificial vanilla flavour from. It's like a little, um, I think it's a oh, beaver. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's got it's... a little sack. It's, it's a little vanilla sack. This is <laughs> why, <laughs> this is why when you're getting vanilla flavouring, make sure the vanilla flavouring comes from vanilla pods. Yeah, not from an arse of a beaver. Not from the arse of a beaver. <laughs> Be vanilla. I, I think it's want... one of these things that keeps coming up in Lad Bible. I don't think it's used that much. I think it's quite I an old hope it's thing, not. But... Is that actually true? That is Apparently, true. Apparently, yeah. No, that is true. Yeah. Vanilla strawberry cream. Oh, they need to start putting ingredients on this fucking thing. Beaver anus. <laughs> Beaver anus. I want to see it. Beaver anus. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. The thing about it is, you often think who first tried an egg, who first milked a cat. <laughs> who was the one who stuck his finger up a beaver's ass and just tastes like the James McDonough says strawberry as well, and that's also right, James. Someone stuck their finger up his ass and thought it tasted like strawberries. Oh, fuck. <laughs> If there's an e-liquor company called like Angry Beaver Vanilla Flavor, don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he's not going to be very fucking happy, is he? He just stuck his finger up his ass. No, That's not. why he's angry. <laughs> Don's also asking who milks the beaver's ass. Um, Don, Andy's got a little bit next to the hedgehogs that can hold beavers. Yeah. Uh, essence, it does. Uh, next to that, there's somebody breeding milk. budgies. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole factory. So <laughs> unconventional mating. <laughs> and I said unconventional with a full bottle of no half a bottle of butter. <laughs> so moving on that's what the beaver said no moving on from the beavers <laughs> <as well. laughs> okay here's a, here's an actual serious question since we're moving into new year and there's a lot as a lot of people know smokers generally tend to try and give up smoking as a new year resolution so we're getting closer and closer to new year so ged hall asks how would you win someone over who thinks vaping is as bad as smoking good question yeah you're going to direct them to the uk evidence first off aren't you <laughs> yeah you're going, to tell, you're, going to, Public Health England. you're going to tell them to completely ignore everything coming from the united states mm -hmm. I think you need to tell them to stick with it as well. I often find with people that smoke, the first, the thing that annoys them is the coughing at first. That that's when you tough. first start vaping, you cough a lot. And I think it's all about just, see, once you get past that initial hurdle, I think that's the hard bit, getting past that coughing stage. Do you still cough with salts? I've never tried salts. Uh, now and again, I still, still now and again, yeah. like, I use salts regularly, but still they catch me up. And... You can I make don't... a sneeze as well, salts. I don't yeah, trust I salt. I, I think Pud uh, nailed it on the head there. I think a lot of people that I've spoken to, especially you know, obviously I've got the working men's club over there, who's ever actually um, tried vaping before, it's absolutely crap that, they picked the wrong device, they picked the wrong juice and uh, the wrong method of actually doing it. You know, like they've yeah. tried to do direct to lung before mouth to lung and, it, and like you said, coughing and stuff like that. And I always say to them, look, you've picked the wrong device. You need to get something that's going to suit you and a flavour that's going to suit you. Well, it's it's the same with smoking, really. You, I mean, there's not many people that start smoking and stick with that brand forever. They always change and eventually find one they're comfortable with. It's exactly the same with vaping, but people don't seem to get that. They seem to think you just pick one up and vape, and it's, they're all the same. Yeah, it's just not. Very true. <clears throat> I think even if they get the right setups at first, or even then, they still cough sometimes. It's just 
getting used to that vapor. I think everybody's smoke. different as well, isn't it? The amount of strength yeah, and the nicotine. But when you first started smoking, people, you coughed your lungs up to start yeah. with. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah. What's the difference? There just seems to be less tolerance of it. They, they, they know if they go back to smoking, they're not coughing with that the same. <clears throat> but yeah, you're right. There's I remember first smoking and coughing along up and all that shit. Well done, Pip. <clears throat> one year. Well done, nice one, Pip. I think I think you'd agree, Vic. You know, like when we first started on it, um, you obviously see the lights and them sort of things. I think there's a lot more um, easier devices to go on to to oh, start yeah. than what it was. Like when you first started, you look at what you had. God, when um, I first when I first started, there was Sigalikes and Eagle ones with the trailing silica wax, and that was it. Yeah, that was it. <clears throat> the choice that's out there now is fucking phenomenal compared to what quality. it was like six years ago. And the quality, <laughs> even the worst of devices aren't that bad, are they? No, they're not. I mean, here's the thing, right? See, that I mean, I'm doing the best of 2020 video this coming Sunday, and I was looking through the entire back catalogue of this year because I back up all the files onto the, server, onto the server next door, and there was only one item that I had a beef with, and that's one item out of about 250 reviews I've done this year. One item. I mean, even with something like that, it's it's not that great. It doesn't it doesn't give you the flavour that these this brand usually has, but... But it works. It works. It still gives me enough nicotine that I can... Although I'm, I don't think it's excellent, I still they're good enough for me to play about with and use now and again. So even like, stuff that's not that impressive, it's, it still works. And you do get that, don't you, now, as, as reviewers? Oh, you think everything's absolutely great. Um, it's not the fact that you don't think everything's great, but nowadays, the stuff that's coming out isn't like how it was when I first started reviewing. You did have absolute crap kits. But yeah. nowadays, even the worst kits actually aren't that bad. The flavour that you're getting from it, you t take the Geek Bar, the flavour, I was so surprised on it. All right, it's a disposable, and you, you've got the environment and stuff like that, but there is just, the, the devices that are coming out are not that bad. And here's the one thing, I'm probably going to step on a few fucking toes here, but right, I'm going to do a little impression here of not, not, not just one particular reviewer, but a whole load of reviewers who do this, right? See, if you're watching a review, and this includes me, if you're watching a review that I'm doing in 2021 or 2022, and you're watching the reviewer do this, right? Nah, there's no flavour. Bull fucking shit. How can there be no flavour when you're exhaling that amount of fucking vapour from a stock coil sub ohm tank? Shite. Fucking I it, shite. I think it might make things a bit stale and boring though. I think you need something to be bad now and again just to let off a bit of steam on and have a bit of fun with. Like... That's the problem though. I, I found it difficult to actually find something bad this year. If you are finding something bad, it is very minimal as well. It's like, well, I wish they'd have done this with it and done that with it. Mm -hmm. It's overly, you know, like before when you'd be going, God, you can't even get a drawer off this. The coil's been out in an hour. It's this doesn't fit properly on top. Um, we had we had quite. I think the last time I had anything was from Vaptio. They did that ironclad, and the actual tank didn't fit properly on it. They were about I remember that. that. From it. Yep. And that, that that was. I think that's the last one I've had something that's really really bad. I don't know, a lot of people have had COVID this year. Maybe they just lost taste. <laughs> <laughs> could be. Could be. Got the COVID, what you lose that? your taste. Yeah. I don't know. But that was a good question. Mr. B? Yeah. Mr. Mr. B. B? How you doing, Mr. V? M Mr. V? No, I've only had two pints. What the fuck? How you doing, Mr. Mr. V? Okay, two pints and quarter of a bottle of whiskey, but the whiskey doesn't fucking count. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! What you forgot your budgies? No, I forgot to order another bottle of whiskey for Christmas. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm Amazon. sure there's still a week and a half to go. Yeah, I'll end up forgetting to order it though. You know for a fact I will. Get, <laughs> get it on Amazon tonight. Get it on Amazon. Yeah, no, one of you guys can remind me and chat tomorrow. It won't be you guys because you're leaving the show. Um, yeah, so you're at half ten tonight. Twelve o'clock gone. <laughs> Have you, get, have, you get a, have you all get a group chat and stuff like that? Yeah, there's a group chat. So you guys get fucked for. off the group chat after tonight and you chucked out. <laughs> kicked out. See, if this stream goes past half past ten, guys is getting kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> the love's there. The love's there, mate. The love's there. Yeah. Okay, this one is really. for... Oh, this is a good one. 
that may end up causing an argument, but it's a good one. Josh Vandenberg. What a cool name. Cool name. I love, awesome. I love that cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's Vandenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas oh. present. Which one of your fellow casters... Pr oh, sorry, rephrase that. Which one of your... Punctuation, Josh, is a bit off here. Christmas present. Which one of your fellow casters' presents would you open first? Whose would you rewrap, and to which fellow caster would you give it to? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, Wait, read that again. Right. Sorry, read that again. Right. Christmas present. Which one of your fellow fellow casters' presents would you open first? So, whose would you open first? Vix. <laughs> Whose would you rewrap, and to which fellow caster would you give it to? So, in other words, I don't like that present. I'm giving it to one of the other three. Puds. Puds. <laughs> Puds. Flat caps. You're gonna take mine and punt flat caps. No, I, I would. I would take flat caps and give it. Uh, no, all the way around. No, 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 that way. You, because it would be a better present. Who's it? Who's gonna? Who's it? Who are you gonna take it from? I'm gonna take it from you. Yeah, and give it to flat cap. <laughs> I don't want another deal, Dave from Pad. I, I'm no, gonna it's a pepper army. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna take from. Uh, that's hard. I, I think like, I'll take from Eden because his is gonna be either something that's gonna get me drunk or it's gonna be something sexy. Guys, I'm gonna give yours away because the last time I opened a present from you, it was full of love hearts. They went all over the floor. There was shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> It was what he does present bombs, so yeah. There's that one on the way. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> I've got something to tell you about my post person. I can't go to the post office, it's closed because of stuff. I'll tell you, I'm not doing this a live stream. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna sound dead heartless. He got halfway in that there, didn't he? He went, I should be saying this. He did, yeah, he did. yeah, halfway through, I realized, no, I shouldn't be saying sure. this. <laughs> So, I would open, I, I would, oh, who do I pick? See, I'm tempted to go with Aiden, because Aiden knows me too well, and he'd probably throw a bottle of Glenfiddich in there. Everybody wants your presents, Aiden. It's because they're all our garlic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Silly bastards, you're never going to give that away. <laughs> you're getting, someone's offering you a Jack Daniels shirt if you want it. What size are you? George Power Jr. What, what, me? No, Vic. I've got Vic, one. I need to know what. Uh, would you wear a Jack Daniels shirt? <laughs> and what size are you? Nah, it, he'll never. Honestly, it's just like being back in Iraq, and it. They, they're definitely not coming in. Tanks are behind you. But you and stuff. I never wear that. <laughs> See, I'm tempted to go with Gaz because Gaz would pick something that's odd. <laughs> What? <laughs> I would open Aiden's and send whatever Pud sent me to Vic. That's what I'll do. Why is everyone picking Pud? <laughs> Pud. Yeah. You know what we put? It'd be something like a, a, some PPI or something like Not PPI. What's that called? <laughs> PPI some insurance. No, not the insurance. Have you been missold insurance? You <laughs> <laughs> sat down there with your face mask and a gown. <laughs> Get you know you did <laughs> So, moving on. Oh, finally, Mr. Ronster Campbell. Hey. I, knew, I knew you would go till you found it. Mr. Ronster Campbell. Pud once got his arse crack swabbed on TV. Oh, Surprisingly, God. it was cleaner than his mate's armpit. Would any of the other casters go on a TV show, i.e. embarrassing bodies with an embarrassing ailment such as an itchy scrotum? No! <laughs> hang on, hang on. Pud, what? Where? What? Right, okay, there's a story. <laughs> Fucking Ronnie. Ronnie's even he changed his name and chat to Pud's uncle. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I went to a festival. Um, dressed as a gorilla with a bathing suit on <laughs> um, and when we got there we were really really pissed and embarrassing bodies were there so I went to get a picture with a lady and they're like do you mind if we swab you? and I'm like what? <laughs> so yeah they swabbed my ass live on TV 
Um, my friend. Why have I never known this? <laughs> they swabbed my friend's armpit and they swabbed my other friend's bollocks. Oh, I saw God. that. And believe it or not, after me driving two hours to get there, I had a below average amount of bacteria <laughs> in my ass, and it was cleaner than my mate's ball sack and my other mate's armpit. <laughs> It was cleaning was your mate's wrong, armpit. I had a cleaner ass in my mate's armpit and my other mate's bollocks. Okay, that's what it was. Did he have your DNA? I don't know. Yeah, my ass was on uh, embarrassing bodies for about 10 seconds while I was dressed up as a, a gorilla in a bikini. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't. Is that on TV somewhere? somewhere? Uh, I'd imagine it'll be somewhere, yeah, it's probably like four on the map. finding that, they, they've got the whole thing, I'm finding that, I'm, I'm trolling through it. Now the <laughs> thing, that, 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 that thing with that embarrassing body, it's, it's so funny, you sit there and go, oh, I'm so embarrassed about it, I really don't want to talk about it. I've sat down, they got a minging fanny and then she gets it out for the <laughs> <laughs> alright, look, look at it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I really don't like it. All you know is you sat there, Olivia deep into your TV, 4K, 55 inch of Olivia. That's like exactly what you want, that isn't it? And then, not only on top of that, you get Channel 4, they love it, Channel 4, they get the ones where they do that dating show where they're half naked. Oh, yeah, like Channel, that that, Channel 4 is fucking scary after 9 o'clock. Uh, well, they're not shagging in a box, didn't they? They're shagging yeah, in a they box. Had... Come into this box and shag, and then tell us, how, tell us how shite your ride was when you come back out. And here's the thing: see when Channel, see when Channel Four first opened back in the mid '80s, it was literally basically softcore porn after Ted. It was, yeah, I remember that. I, I remember being like 13 years old, Euro Trash on, yeah, listening, listening for the stairs. <laughs> Danger wank, danger wank. I used to love Valentine's Day. It used to be brilliant. <laughs> Here's a card to yourself. What, what, what was the actual question there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it, wasn't, else it, wasn't, it wasn't a question. It was just a statement from... Oh, hold on. All right. Uh, yeah, would, would no, there the was other a question before we got in here. Swabbing the gorilla's ass. Would the other casters go on a TV show like Embarrassing Bodies with an embarrassing ailment such as an itchy scrotum? No. <laughs> no. That's the last thing I want to do, that. Unless they paid me a small fucking fortune. Have you, any of you ever been on real TV and not just YouTube then? I've been on real TV. What were you doing? I was on... Uh, well, it was definitely not me fucking scrotum in a grill. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was on uh, Saturday Night Fever with uh, Suggs. You know, the one that was on Channel 5? I was I was on there. I was one of the contestants <laughs> in the karaoke. Wow. <sighs> I was interviewed on ITV once when I was a kid. I was in a play. And I was Montague in Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Yeah. But then we saw it from chest down, he's six foot four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, was on, cool. it, was, it would have been back in 2005. No. No, 2006. Um, you, uh, you, might, you might still find it if you dig around the BBC archives, but I, it was a documentary about BBC Radio Scotland because I used to do... I wasn't a presenter, I was behind the glass, I was one of the button pushers doing all this shit and they were doing a documentary and there was a little fucking two minute two minute thing of me giving it, oh well this is the, the, I do that and I do this and that, that and that was it. That's the only time it was on TV and it was on, it was on, it was on BBC, it was on BBC One Scotland. It was never shown down south in England. But if you dig around, you could probably find that it was a lot thinner. Oh, we will, don't worry. We will. Yeah, we'll get that. <laughs> it was a lot thinner. A lot thinner back then. Any of you guys been on TV? I, I auditioned for The X Factor, which was no, you, fucking hilarious. But I didn't actually get on the screen, though. Oh. You auditioned for I, The X Factor? Yeah, I mean, we went to Hamden. And Are you the, better at the, singing or vape impressions? Uh, vape impressions. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so Kira nodded her head. You've been on TV. Have you? What did you do? I would say guess, but you'd probably come up with something really like. Yeah, please don't ask us to guess. We'll send you. Yeah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Jeremy Kill. 
<laughs> no, I've never been on Jeremy Cole, but I do know plenty of people that have. Um, <laughs> um, no, I've been on TV a couple of times, but it was all for little things like my martial arts club when we um, did like a game show. It was all competitive stuff. Ooh. And when we came back from the world championships, because we did a little bit good. Oh. Are you one of these fit ninja folk? I'm probably more of the broken ninja now, but... <laughs> <laughs> so what to the wise, don't piss off Kira because she'd knock you out. <laughs> Mr. Well, Anderson said he was on Crime Watch. <laughs> he was in Mr. a movie Anderson. as well, wasn't he? I think he was in a movie with... with uh, <laughs> it, Keanu Keanu Reeves? Reeves? Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more question, and this is a very, very easy one. Ewan... How the fuck do you pronounce that? McGregor. Fuck off, Eden. Ewan Haynes, I think that's how you pronounce that. This is a very simple one. Favourite album of all time? Oh, fucking hell. I would show you the picture, but it's actually... it's You can see it behind me doing the reviews. Dark, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. The original cut, yeah. not that fucking 2010 train wreck. The original cut of Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, yeah, fuck off, cows. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Jim will fix it. Jim will fix it. I wasn't on Jim will fix it. <laughs> well, as you will tell him, you're blind. Now, 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 uh, uh, my favourite album, Enter Shikari, Common Dreads. Never heard of it. No, I didn't think you would have. Um, I'd I'd go for Beautiful South. Uh, oh wait, no. oh that oh, was beautiful South. A beautiful good. South. Sorry. That was a good album. That I can't think of like a a, a, a an album that like there's a couple of like hip hop. Is it not the the Axis album? I feel the Axis album. That's good. <laughs> I used to love. I used to love listening to an LP. Jeff Wayne's. What are the worlds? What are the worlds? I used to love listening to that. Yeah. The chances of anything coming from Mars. There's a million to one, he said. Apparently when that was first released, what was it, about 1950? No, well, yeah, the, the radio version of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds that was read out by Orson Welles actually caused a mass panic yeah, in panic. America. It was over the radio, yeah, wasn't it? It was over the radio. And that's why there was rules put in place that the UK then followed in 1959 that said any read out works of fiction, there has to be a pause every 10 minutes where the caster says, this is a work of fiction. I am reading a story. Because of Orson Welles reading out the original H.G. Wells' War of the yeah. Worlds, there was apparently a mass fucking panic across the United States because of it. And that, that The orchestra from that was absolutely amazing, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, cool. I mean... J <laughs> The problem with Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds is Jeff Wayne started to milk that franchise fucking dry. Have you listened to the travesty called Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds Next Generation? So they replaced Richard Burton with Liam Neeson. Now that right. might sound good, but the problem is they got Gary Barlow to do the instrumental direction and it sounded oh. fucking horrible. Just he was bad at tax dodge, wasn't horrible. he? Horrible. <laughs> hey boy, hey, yeah, tax dodger. Apparently, we sat on Christmas Island. No one would have believed in the last half of the 20th <laughs> century that human affairs would be watched from the tideless worlds of space. Few men even considered. And then yet Liam Neeson done a phenomenal job, but Gary Barlow fucked up the orchestral direction. He just forever young, not forever young, forever autumn. That was it. Sounded fucking horrible. Horrible. Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't have like picked him out of everybody in the entire world to be able to do it, would you? But it, 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 it was like that to remaster. It was Jeff Wayne trying to milk it for all it's worth, but I don't know why because here's here's a little known fact for you, right? There's two al well, actually, there's three albums that have never officially left the top two hundred in the UK charts since their original release. The Beatles, Strawberry Fields, still in the top two hundred. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds. He's still making money from it to this day. That's like trying to get Jimmy Cranky to do Sergeant Pepper, isn't it? It's just not going to work. <laughs> Is it? It's just not going to work. <laughs> Thanks, now I've got Hotel the Hotel California, now, yeah, the now, Eagles, really now good. Now I've got the Fan Dabby Dozy song stuck in my head. Thanks, Aidan. <laughs> yeah. 
And Bobby Ball doing the fucking remix. <laughs> You've got me skin, you've got me skin! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, should we do a giveaway? Since we're at 20 past. You should. You know what, since it's Christmas, we'll do two. <gasps> he's still going to go to the desk, though, and he's definitely knock his hat off. And I can't be <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Hooray! My fucking head is roasting. I'm sweating buckets here. There's some really good albums coming up in chart here as well. The Verve Urban Times. Uh, the Verve were good and then they became really, really depressing. I know. Oh, a bit like, a bit like the they always wear. It's a, the, the, the major hit, a cat in a bag. <laughs> Waiting to drown. <laughs> Did somebody just fart? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? He kind of bagged the drugs don't work. He said they weren't really depressive. Well, let's <laughs> just start off. Jagged little pill, a little bit of uh, da, 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 Alanis Morissette. Well, yeah. There's some great albums in chat, by the way. Did, yeah. Great albums. Is it, uh, Ironic is one of the best ones. I, I love Ironic. You can see him in the car now when he's Fiat 500 going. Also, <laughs> you, you do the music video in the car as well, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I've got this wobbly thing on my head and I really want to be moving it. <laughs> right, let's get Nightbot up. So these mm. will be, since we're at 20 past, this will be a fast draw round. So five minutes for the first one, five minutes for the second <clears> one. Don, I don't have that one, but if you could burn it to a disc for me and post it, that would be lovely. <laughs> Um, you can go down the spot. For fuck's sake. Do a little boy. You tell her it is yet? <laughs> I bug you, can't get it away from me. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they asked what your favourite album was and not what everyone's favourite Christmas song was. Ooh. Oh, a Christmas show. we need to answer that now then. What's it's got to be the Pogues. Sorry, do you want me to ask it again and I'll do that and pretend that I'm in chat tonight? <laughs> <laughs> we need to know what yours is first, though. Yeah. What, mine? Yeah. Uh, Fairy Tale of New York. Yeah, I think oh. I would agree with that. Bit of retro Pepsi. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, either that or Bing and David Bowie. Oh, Drummer uh, Boy. I pumped your mum's bum, 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 bum. I've got pumped some gifts for you there up in my bum. <laughs> <laughs> right when I was taking a drink. Thanks, Eden. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, we built this city on sausage rolls. Please go and get them to number one. I love that couple who do that. I've got a new one, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. They're so nice, aren't they? Proper, like, down-to-earth couple. Oh, Band Aid. Yeah, the 80s Band Aid was good. The new Band Aid was absolute shit. The old one was a good one. I remember like refusing to sing it in a pub karaoke unless the less they let me do the Bono bit. Mines would need to be. Just stamp your feet and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be, when we used to do the Christmas shows, obviously for 20 years I did this live. That, and then we used to do Slade, and we used to do, um, uh, what is it, Snowman? Not Snowman, the other we one from uh, Wizard. We walk in the end. <laughs> no, I never did that. Everybody oh, dance at the clock. <laughs> See, could, my, Vic, do you remember, uh, Skint, you probably noticed as well, when, when the Snowman first came out, you were on Channel 4 as well, wasn't it? Yeah. I've just got, I've just got a, a, I think it was like a 19 inch television with a massive great big back on it, and I got a Spectrum plus three with a disc. Oh, with the disc, you jammy yes. bastard. I never had one. Do you know what Mark bought me as well? You know the tape player at the side? Yeah. You could connect it in and you could still use the tapes for uh, Spectrum oh. Plus 2. I never had the disc with mine. I bet you were popular, mate. I bet you were popular. Oh, no, I just played on my own. <laughs> <laughs> so my, 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 my... <laughs> yeah. My favourite Christmas song has got to be Let It Snow, but not the Dean Martin version, the Vaughn Monroe version. And you're probably thinking you and going, I've never heard that before. Wait till the end credits of Die Hard. That's the Vaughn Monroe version of Let It Snow, the big deep gravelly voice. 
Is that Dean the one Martin's you all right, but what? It's on your channel, isn't it? You've sung it once. I'm it? trying to, I think it might have been Pud's phone as well. Fuck off, Pud. <laughs> 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 You've yeah. actually sung quite a number of uh, stuff on YouTube. Um, yeah, I, I, it was, you did it obviously was, with David from Higgy Six. Yeah, and you the duets with David, the, the, the older duets back in the late 90s with Mind White, Phil. What channel's that on? I'm not telling hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it. <laughs> yeah, now Vic 22. <laughs> Apparently, I've got a decent singing voice when I'm drunk. Oh, talking about that, I need to do the giveaway. Hold on. Can't find the Christmas video. What oh, a shame. Brilliant. Giveaways, right? There's going to be two, so it's going to be two separate keywords. We'll do this one first. Fuck. Not that. So it's the same for each one because for some unknown reason Geek Vape only sent the same stuff in the packages but I did have a word with Geek Vape they're going to be sending different stuff from now on. Hopefully it's not all Aegis's. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> oh my fucking yeah God. everyone that's what we saw. That's the video we got from Pud. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> Are you a paper army? They're basically lollipops, are this they not? Is the, this is the stuff we need to watch in, <laughs> in the chat piece. group for, for UKVS. Just... I, I can't find that. Um, the Swamp Thing, I wasn't sleeping. I was trying to find Vic's Christmas singing video, but I can't find it. Shame. Okay, the first keyword <laughs> is that. Type it once, once only. Don't spam it. If you do spam it, then you will be automatically removed from the draw. Care review. I'm only entitled to one view tonight. Please make sure you get over to a channel. Um, Flat Cap, you're normally better at spamming stuff than me. Actually, like Stuart's better at spamming stuff Get over to a channel and give her a subscribe. It's always nice to support. And she's a corking lady as well. I love her. Oh, we've got a bit. I've got a bit of news tonight, by the way. <gasps> um, I'm actually a bit scared. Aidan called me a lady. That can. <laughs> <laughs> He's a gentleman. Hey, I love you, really, Aidan. Yeah, we'll just cancel that news then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can't even spell my name right when I'm coming on your own show. <laughs> Excuse me, that did not sound right at all. No, thank God she said show. <laughs> right, Skin, what's your news? Are you pregnant? Yes. I would have said that. Is it mine? Me and the budgie said a threesome. <laughs> Again. A mini budgie. <laughs> a little skint budgie. <laughs> uh, actually, I think I know how you would do that, but uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it before, that's why. You dirty bastard. So where did you mate your actual budgies? In a smoke tank. <laughs> I'm sending I'm sending Aiden those fucking budgies for Christmas and we're going half us. <laughs> do, you know, do you know when you said that then? I had that thing from uh, Ace Ventura. Come on, budgie. Come on, budgie. <laughs> bird. Come on, Bernie. Little bird. Just waiting for the little ping. Ping. <laughs> <laughs> no, you sound like my wife then. <laughs> Come on, Eden. Come on, what are you It's okay. It's okay. But here's the thing, though. I mean, this was back in the mid '80s. The local pet shop paid my dad, for, I think, because it was after it was African budgies, the same that, that the same that Skint's got. The local pet shop paid my dad fifty-five quid per budgie. I'd have been fucking rubbing them to those smoke. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think I'm doing after this show? I know they're like bare grills, I'll fucking make them work. This is the come in, you try to start Mate, fire. Get your mum, they're in fire again. <laughs> you do have central heating. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know if they still hold the same price because that was fucking, what, 30 odd, 40 odd year ago now, so. I don't know. I know a guy that, like, breeds fish and eat again. <laughs> <laughs> And he sells them to like the local, uh, what is it a fish shop? Is that the name? No, it's a pet shop. It's a pet, pet shop. shop. Fish, fish shop. shop. <laughs> <laughs> is he selling potatoes as well? <laughs> <laughs> He's back to the fish shop. They're rubbing cod uh, together. Can I get a special <laughs> goldfish and four fritters? <laughs> uh, two minutes. We just need to rub them. <laughs> The small one, do you know what I mean? I'll have the call you, please. <laughs> so, anyway, what's your news apart from breeding fish? Oh, fuck, I forgot. We've got news. Yes, yeah, have you got news for us? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, we do, yeah. Oh, uh, we've got a new. Good 
We've got, we've got, we've got a new caster in Bird Rapes Live. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. who that? Uh, it's Victor Mullen. No, it's not. It's Kira. Kira's join us. Oh, hey. hey. Oh, lovely. For all her sins. Well done. Yeah, she's joining Bird Rapes Live because you give it show shit. And she said, no, Vic, I'm not doing it. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, are you going to be the only sober one there? Is she fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she had to sign a contract where she's got to be drunk at least an hour before the show well, starts. We worked out it takes about four weeks to get a new caster uh, to the alcoholic stage. <laughs> Normally. So when, right. when, I've when, when got does... my collection of Kraken and Captain Morgan and oh, Jane Captain and... Captain Morgan. Oh, I like a good cat. Oh, hey, Jenna. Yes, I usually do steal the guests. Every time <laughs> right guest so when when does when does Kira take her place? As well, she the she is now Bargain Vapes live caster. So on Saturday night she will be a glorified Bargain Vapes live caster. That will be her virginity taken. Her cherry popped. So wait a minute. She's jumping straight in for the twelve oh, hour cat. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Nobody ever said I was clever. No one ever said I made good decisions. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be running that show by the end of that 12 hours, don't worry. Yeah, they're the only other bunch of weirdos on YouTube that are willing to put up with me for more than 10 minutes, so, you know. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good laugh. James thought he was going to say flat cap. There would have been a fucking riot in here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, as we should have kicked that up before, we? we should have kicked it. It would have up. been a drama <laughs> explosion really never to be seen next. before. <laughs> so anyway, Bastard. talking about Kira, let's do the draw for the first box, which is uh, one of these. He's better be stubborn to Kira, though, first. Hey, fuckers. One of those. What colour is it? Oh, that's a freaking... Make sure you subscribe and what you up to. 200, apparently. What do you want? Somebody spam Kira's link. I'm on it, boss. <laughs> Actually, he's two minutes past. Guys, you need to leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that was flat cat vapor. <laughs> Fuck him, he won't be back. So the winner of the first box is roll it. Somebody rolling, new, rolling, Andrew rolling. Hallam or Hallam. And Andrew, Andrew Hallam. Or that Hallam. is so close to my real name. It's unreal. Yeah, oh, wrong way down. Right. Wrong way down. <laughs> is it really you? Is that your spare account? I know that is so. Are close. you Andrew? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Andrew I'm Hallam. Andrea. Andrea. <laughs> Do you want it? I just love the way you said that as well because I, I can't pronounce names at all. Hmm? It, it, it's Hallam. Yeah. But it, it, Hallam. Should, it could be Hallam <laughs> though. Well, he's about to sacrifice a go. <laughs> Andrew Andrew Halam wants it Okie doke Andrew What you need to do is do this uh, 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 uh. He's doing that dance with his hands on his neck Shake it baby uh. Is it me or did you, anybody else get right said Fred then I was getting more Fred. Mariah Carey All I want for Christmas but I think it was Sean on Billy T You want him I could post him No <laughs> it's alright to... It's alright I'm trying to get rid of my husband for Christmas Andrew want... you you need to email victor at vapingvic.co.uk with your name, your address and your postal code. It will not be sent out until after New Year because after this Friday, fuck it, I am not working until January the 4th. Because Fiona's, really uh, my, my brother-in-law was on the phone there and he wanted to see my uh, pants. Is your brother, <laughs> is your brother-in-law weird? Yeah, you bet I. Okay, he's the one that took Queen Scroton. Mildly. <laughs> he's the one who wanted to get dressed up as a gorilla. Let's confirm. Let's confirm. Look, because he didn't like the dress, he just wanted somebody to stroke his rectum. <laughs> See if it tastes <laughs> like strawberry. <laughs> for the second giveaway, the second giveaway will run for another two or three minutes, and uh, as that, type it once, once only, don't spam it, you'll be automatically disqualified. So- you know how it goes between like vanilla and strawberry? Do you think it depends how much you rub it? Like the more you rub it goes between. Is it the same thing? <laughs> Is it still the same beaver thing that comes from the, the strawberry and the vanilla? I don't know if some like beavers, like the female beavers, taste like strawberry and <laughs> male beavers taste like vanilla. <laughs> what? Um, Pod, is your um, brother-in-law called Jonathan? No. Sure. Yeah. 
Well, it just says in chat he, she didn't even know I was watching. That's my husband, and I know he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I just offered him away for free to anybody that wanted him at Christmas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't think she knows I'm watching, but I do. She knows everything. <laughs> okay, oh, it's Rookie. Yeah, right, isn't it? We've got eyes everywhere. Where's I'm trying to think who Rookie Vapor was, but it's Rookie. Rookie. <laughs> Rookie. Skint. I still think Skint's tinsel looks like a wig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Told you, Mrs. S went oh, yeah, to B and M's to get me a Christmas hat, and uh, they had none, so she bought me tinsel. That's the knife I smoked. Just sent me a couple of years ago. Only slightly <laughs> used. I use it to open letters and shit. In fact, did you get a Vaporesso present? Did you get the present? With yeah, the I got it today. Where you open it up and it goes, bzz, 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 and I'm like, this is fucking cool. And then I close it and put What's it on the shelf. We hope your custom charges weren't too bad. We hope your custom charges weren't too bad. <laughs> I never get any, I never get any we custom charges. We use DHL next year. I, oh, oh, wait a minute. I think I took a picture of it. Hold on. Where's my phone? I also get one from Vaptio. From Vaptio? Yeah. Awesome. Um, can I play the sound? It? I'll play the sound it makes. Greetings, my dear business partners. I'm Sam. To see you off, Represso. I just want to say thank you for your contribution and to this support. Here is a special gift for you and wish you a happy holiday. And it's, and a, fu oh. it's a full box with so Christmas you, stuff. That's so you one. only get that box if you agree okay. to make some like, the number one for everything, is that? Did you know, get all year. I've sold them all year and mine ain't coming. You have to be in your top 10 in every category and you have to do a song. <laughs> That's what Vaptio sent me. Ooh. Little Christmas, little pop up 3D Christmas card, and some of the newer Vaptio kits down there. And that is some kind of oil, you know, those oil freshener things, the, the oil burners. Apparently, it smells like meadow grass. I don't fucking know. Did <laughs> one year, did you get a chest? Was it was it UL? Yeah, it, it was the UL. It was the UL chest. No, in fact, oh, vapor so check, mate. It was, was the it vapor check, mate? No, in fact, no, hold on, it was UL. Yeah. Oh, it was the checkmate kit. What I got from Vaporesso was, and you may see it in some of the reviews, it was a full poker set, including the chips. That's mm. cool. Fucking hell. Oh, and you see you don't get paid. <laughs> we don't get paid. See the halo? It's a halo. <laughs> halo. <clears throat> He's a single lady. He's a single lady. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce Vic. So we're going to be drawing the Rookit Vapor one in about a minute's time because we're overrunning already. It don't matter, do they? Well, is that getting yeah. us getting to last long. It wow. is. The, it's our Christmas um, goodbye, isn't it? Because we're not going to be back now until January the January 7th. the... Well, <laughs> us three are going to be back. I mean, Gaz is going to be dead to us by that point in time, so he's <laughs> not going to... <laughs> don't you feel the love there, Gaz? Yeah, so next next Thursday's Christmas Eve, the thirty first is New Year's Eve, so yeah, the seventh is drunk. So it's going to be they January really. the seventh. That's when yeah, we'll be back. Yeah. Now, there's a couple of people have asked in chat actually about what why I'm where I'm going. <laughs> so for those that don't know, yeah, I've just um drama. I've, I've had enough of these three. I can't I can't do them anymore. Yeah, there's, there's actually some secret That's what he's doing. There's, there's some secret drama. Guys get caught below the desk. We all hate each other. <laughs> Yeah. Robin Budgies. Bad shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there wasn't enough room under there anyway for me, Pudge. You're much better. And the carpet burns, they they hurt. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was a risk that you, you knew it was there. Yeah, knee pads next time. <laughs> it's um, obviously when we when we all came together, it was obviously the other lads before, and it was it were quite controversial that they were doing it all again, and it, we all just sort of fit. And it, you are going to be missed, bro. Um, I'm going to definitely miss miss you. Not only from this show, but but the three men in the vape show. Um, it's, it's it's one of them things. But and I understand why you've got a young family, and it's very hard to do your job as well. You work some extraordinary hours. Hours. The amount of times you've dropped on my show, and you've just finished. You know, like fifteen minutes, and and well, it's, you, you it's, moving... it's been the same here. There's been there's been numerous times where Gaz has literally just come back in from a late <laughs> okay. shift at work and went straight onto the UK vape show. Yeah, yeah. So I, can't, I, I mean, I've, I've had an absolute blast. It's been, so, and I'm, I do feel gutted about it. You know, it's not a, 
it's not something I'd, I'd want you to do lightly, you know, especially with you, with you guys. All the shows, all the shows, but, you know, it was a hard decision. But it's but just we'll, one of those we'll things. Still, we'll mm. still, I mean, all the shows will still be dragging you on as a guest, though. Now oh, and again. I'll, yeah, I'll still be around. I'm not disappearing completely. I just got to kind of cut back a little bit. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's all really. Yeah, I'll still be around. I'm just glad that you think your family and work is more important than me, but yeah. <laughs> 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 but he, he, he just sort of fitted from the beginning. Um, obviously, you cast with Paul and you cast with me, and then obviously Vic joins in, and um, we. we... <laughs> oh, thanks, Eden. <laughs> <laughs> no, all, all four of us come together, and it, it was such. It's it all sort of fitted really, really well, um, and I'm definitely going to miss you, bro. Yeah, oh, it's not just a case of that. I think I think all the shows, casters, and all the people that are watching all the shows that you cast <laughs> on are going to miss you. And before anyone types the question in chat, no, we have no idea who's going to be taking place of Gaz as the fourth caster. We, 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 no. we still need to. It's like fuck. I don't we know. actually do know, but we're just not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. I should have been able to choose. I think that would have been better. No. Mm. I could have arranged. I could have arranged a replacement, so no. it would have been even easier. No, that would have been good. no. You, you, the thing is, you'd have got Ronnie Campbell. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been wrong, <laughs> actually. <laughs> no, because then the the cast is going to be even worse for me every <laughs> year. <laughs> all the additions. All the additions live. Oh, that I think we should die. That'd Talent, be funny as fuck. You need a talent to come that in. That would be scary doing it. But the additions out, the commitments for them. Wouldn't it? It'd be fucking mad. Do, do it do live the and then do it live and then have a poll up in the vaping with that community yeah. tab and let people that would no that that wouldn't be nice though. No. <laughs> Why do you want to be nice? <laughs> and, and the thing is, for them weeks that we're doing it, they have to do a build. Oh, well, can you guys promise me one Take thing? Please, please get this build off this people in chat build thing going next year. I think that'd be brilliant. The thing is, I put the post up and I like it literally just a handful of people were interested in it. Well, yeah, Armitage is going to do it. I'm up for it. <laughs> what I'll I was it. thinking, what I was thinking instead, and this this was one of the plans that were rolling rolling around in my head last year, uh, last week was instead of a build off, it's reviewers that are on the channel. So each week, a reviewer takes a turn in showing off something new, not a review. But showing mm. something new they've got in. Like Ooh. a like a like a UK vape show first look and that way it's not a build. Ooh. Nice. That's just what I mean you're sending it you. out. There were sixteen old troners and never sent one out to his mates. You get yeah, well. stuff sent in all the time though, Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, there's there's a there's a there's a couple of plans. I mean, the the, the structure of the show is not going to change. The structure is not going to change, and it's just it's going to be one of the casters that'll be changing. But what what I am thinking about ripping out the build section. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it Pud's turn next? I think it's meant to be your turn next, Pud. Probably. No. Actually, no, it's, it's my turn next. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're still in bit. I, well, I think it's been at the beginning. It was really good to do it because obviously we we were all getting to know each other. But I think that plenty of times we sit here with the, the hour and a bit, and you can go a bit further just by talking. Yeah. yeah. So table cam, show off something new and shiny, back up, start chatting again. I mean, I mean, we, we, I'd done the build thing when, when Gwen was hosting back in 2015, 16. It's like literally a half hour segment because the show ran for two and a half hours back then. So it was a half hour segment and it was literally a mini review plus a build. But I mean, I, I don't think there's that much interest in that kind of thing now. Get them push first. Give them 10 shots of vodka. Really? Get them to do a build. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I think it needs to be a little bit more um, down to earth than your actual uh, sticking your Guinness on your plate thing. You know, a bit of a That's because down. I got the wrong cans because they didn't have the normal draft. I'm kind of let down with that because, okay. See, I think see, you try it again. See when the show is finished, go onto YouTube and type in Guinness Surge Ultrasonic and you'll see somebody with the same ultrasonic cleaner. Well, it looks the same as that one. Pop the Guinness on it, switch it on, and it goes, Pfft, and it does the whole swirly thing. That do you fucking not, do you not do think that. you might have had it on the wrong setting? It was turned up high. Maybe they you not have tried it before about three hours. So no, it was like there. literally they were recording it in one go. They, they, what they, glass are you using? It's the normal Guinness glass. 
Yeah, but has it got the aerator at the bottom? No. There you go, that's why. That's why there's no aerator. It has a swirly, like a cutout at the bottom, yeah. which is an aerator. This one's no normal. Aerator. Fuck. Hey, I've just watched somebody do this with a Guinness, and all it does is makes you lose half your fucking pint. <laughs> 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 Look at his unimpressed face. Fuck off. <laughs> unimpressed face. It's a paint ejector. Fuck it's off. It's a paint ejector. <laughs> oh, no. Ugh. Right then, giveaway. Oh, giveaway. That's right. Giveaway, giveaway, giveaway now. So this is the giveaway for another another one of these. It's the, that they just max. And is, is it all black ones they sent? It fucking is. Good cat. That's an idea. You should also make flat caps replacement a woman. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that narrows the choice that. down to literally less than a handful. Yes, it's limited, but it could be done. It could be done. It's, it's definitely... definitely. A, I mean, for about, two year, t- for about two years, it was me and Gwen there that hosted it. It's not like you've said that before. <laughs> <laughs> and no, you're not getting fucking Kira, so don't even think about it. <laughs> what about Skintina? Skintina? No. <laughs> she's, wa- she's washing her hair constantly. So we're doing the draw for this, and the winner is... Ding! Ding. One of the regulars. It's Rossi. Ooh, Rossi! So, Rossi, do you want to own it? Do you not not usually do the song when you say his name? No, I think that's a different Rossi. (laughs) I think that's a different Rossi. Is it? I know there's two Rossies that normally watch. Mr. Rossi, what do you want? I used to love that cartoon. Mr. 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 B is getting some love in chat as well. Mr. B is absolutely fantastic. He's a, an absolute corking bloke, and he's uh, he's he's a uh, a geezer. Big thanks he's to up. his crew as well. His VA platoon went and spammed my channel with thank yous. It was really nice. It's really appreciated. Aww. I tell you what, I love what even his um, you know, he does like a cast, you know, like a, a podcast. I he love listening to that. Cast. I put it on. I'm uh, mm. doing my edits. Is Rossi He's weak? Because Rossi, I'm... hello. Hi, ah. Where is he? Is this going to be the first redraw we've ever done? Rossi, have you left some? Are you in the house? It's actually a woman. Is it? Rossi, roar. Rossi, 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 Rossi. Not Rosie, is it? Rosie? No, Rosie. it's Rossi. Just what about if you're in the same Rossi? What? Maybe you're not saying it right and she doesn't Wait. hear you. No, it's definitely <laughs> Rossi. It's art. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. There we go. You. Right, it's yes. you. It's you, Rossi. Rossi, roar. R- Rossi, roar. 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 Rossi. I- I'm guessing oh. Rossi, roar wants it's it. Rossi or me. Yeah, there's two Rossies. There's Mister oh. Rossi, and then there's Rossi Raw. It's you, Rossi. Do you want it? Yes, yeah, she says she wants it. Yeah, so I right. think that'll be a yeah then. <coughs> that'll be a yeah. Okay, Rossi, Rossi Raw. What you need to do is email Victor. Uh, fuck. Victor at OnlyFans. Uh, <laughs> 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 Okay, Rossi, Roar, you need to email that address. Victor at vapenvic.co.uk with your name, your email address and your postcode. It'll be sent out after January the 4th because I'm a lazy fuck and I'm taking two weeks off. Thank you. In fact, did you know that your alias set this command to be of merch? I don't know, because first it says guest, then it says host and now it says merch. I can't fucking fix that bastard. Then it says sponsor as well. Why are you using commands at all? I'm not. Timers. You cleared all your commands out. I did. Yeah, it's timers. I'm going to see with the two weeks that we're off, I'm just going to completely wipe the whole night uh, off thing and start from scratch. Start again, that, yeah. It Get started on doing it. that randomly. Get pad on you, it. I sorry. take it you, you, you use OBS. OBS Streamlabs, yep. <coughs> Streamlabs have got their own, which I use. And I tried it, it keeps crashing. Perfect. Well, it worked it? perfect for me every time. Watch the show, it works perfect every time. I might give it a bath. Better then. than Nightbot. Better than Nightbot. Because Nightbot's fucking pissing me off now. Streamlabs can be a bit glitchy though. It's done it fine for me. I've done giveaways and everything, and it's worked fine. 
Vaping Irish, tech with Vic is a lie. You can't even fix Nightbot. Thanks, Irish. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Irish. Thanks. Yeah, Vic, I don't think you put your email in, chart that you told me. Yeah. I did. Did you? I did. Okay. Then, it then it is okay. right. Then it is right. 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 You went very high. Right there. <laughs> did you? Yeah, there it is. You know. <laughs> so. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm tight. Okay, I'll type it in again. Hold on. Is my own chat blocking me? For fuck's sake! Ah, uh, probably, man. Oh, 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 it's all. <laughs> is you anyone having mean? a? Is anyone having a New Year's show at all? No. I'm gonna oh, be what? fucking steaming, so I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> ten pint cars, ten pint cars. Vic's getting raging. Ten pint cars. <laughs> okay, so I can chat now. <laughs> Victor at vaping. Think about Vic Senpai Cassie turns into uh, what should we call it? Uh, Bruce Willis. I, I turn into an angry, angry man. That's why I don't. That's why. Ah, <laughs> you. Know, <laughs> you it's one of the reasons why I actually switched yeah. to whiskey because with whiskey I just fall asleep. I literally just. I'm out. But you, you are muted in your own chat, mate. How can yeah, I be you, muted you, in my own <laughs> fucking chat? <laughs> okay, Ro okay, Rossi Roar. Victor at vapingwithvic.co.uk send an email like that. Why am I muted in my own fucking chat? Nightbot. Fucking Nightbot. I'm blaming Nightbot. Blame Nightbot. Nightbot. Are you the real Vic or are you a fake account? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Cheech, I knew he was. You're Cheech, are you? <laughs> All this time. All this time. <laughs> and I'll tell you now, I haven't got small bubbles. Fuck off, bud. <laughs> <laughs> So we'd wrap we'd, 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 we'd wrap this up folks because it's almost 11 o'clock Let's do it You've been what doing with your fuck? It's almost 11 o'clock <laughs> Something about a millennium fuck not I think Sat there with Chewbacca in an headlock <laughs> Actually hold on I need to write down Rossi Roar's name here <laughs> We fluff it, we do. Mm, smoke you have. <laughs> so who should we pick on first? Who should we pick on first to wrap this show up? We will pick Gaz, on... he's a prick. Oh, my camera's just crashed. <laughs> and it's not going to be flat cap, because flat cap's camera's just crashed. We will I, 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 thought so I, thought, I thought I thought he's feeling it. look like he's trying to smell that beaver's fucking vanilla. Oh, vanilla. Aiden! Oh, vanilla. Take oh, us out. I pick on me. Um, big love to everybody in chat. Thank you very much. You make the show. Thank you very much to all the spanners who look after us. Also, it is obviously Gaz's last show while he's sniffing Beaver's um, <laughs> vanilla. Uh, he's a wonderful bloke. I love him so much. Um, it's been so wonderful to... on this. When we all started together, it was like, this ain't going to work. None of you are going to get on together. And he's been absolutely fantastic. And he's one of the nicest blokes I've ever met. And I love him so much. Um, Big love to Flat Cap, and w whatever goes on from now on, um, I hope you wish you the best of luck with everything. Thank you so much to Skint. Make sure you get over to his live stream, 12 hours on Saturday. Make sure you get over to Kiri Reviews. Absolute corking lady. I'm saying lady again. <laughs> Doesn't like doorbells, but she's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great Christmas. Look after yourselves, and uh, good night from the UK Vape Show. But well, can was... I just say before we move on to someone else? Can I? Can somebody spin out the Just Given page for me, please? Mm -hmm. Stuart. For some donations. <laughs> Stuart. Yeah. Someone, Stuart. Stuart. Bang, Stuart. Anyone? Honest. Spam out the Just Given page for donations for for me, please. Sorry. Just be. I can't believe we forgot that. Oh, we did. Bastards. We did, didn't we? Carry on. Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Oops. Oops. He's doing his Star Trek here. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Stuart, Stuart We're only doing it for the fucking homeless. <laughs> 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 mm. Moving on. To that when somebody's smiling. <laughs> That's not good, is it? I'm smiling. <laughs> Master <laughs> Pud Puffs. Hey, uh, uh, yeah, so, Kira, thank you very much for coming on. Guys, if you haven't already, Kira's link has been spammed into chat tonight. Go and give it a wee sub, watch one of our reviews, you'll find a...
quite fucking brutally honest, I think, but quite engaging as well. I thought I found you quite like you've got quite a good flow already. You're only what seven reviews in, but you've got flow and you're engaging already. So if you haven't already, guys, head on over to Gira, give it a little bit of love and leave wee comments as well. And as well as that, this Saturday, eleven PM, Skint's charity show will be on as well. So don't forget to head on over there. I know it's Christmas and you're all skint, but give them some money anyway, it's for a good cause. Gaz <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, it's been fucking awesome casting you, mate. Um, I won't go too into depth at the moment because I've got lots of shit planned for you on Saturday, lots of crying and tears and stuff, and one last final ditch attempt to get you to change your mind. <laughs> but in the meantime, thank That'd you. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Bro, please rethink the show. Yeah, I'm going to put some really sad music on and see how good it's been. No, guys, honestly, mate, thank you very much for joining us. Um, the past few months, it's been a blast, mate, and all the best for the future. And yeah, Vic, Aiden, cheers, and I'll see you in January. And that <laughs> was Mr. Pudpuffs. And for his last show, Mr. Flatcap. I was supposed to be on for four weeks, weren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I dragged it out a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't go on too long. But uh, first of all, uh, Kieran Skin, thanks for joining us. Kieran, you're doing phenomenal. You're doing really, really well. I don't know what Pud was on about then. Oh, you're, you're really engaging. And, but, no, no. Oh, look at him over there. <laughs> like some expert. Anyway, that's uh, that little red book of This Is Your Life at some oh, point. I was a, a binge one. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> first of all thank you to everyone in chat not just for tonight but for every week the show goes on uh and for all the work everyone said really nice things so it's really really appreciated i've had an absolute blast on this show and the other shows i've been on um so thank you first of all to vic aiden and pud you're great lads you're such a laugh every week's been great fun uh i wish the show the best of luck moving forward as well and um all have a good christmas Thanks, guys. Oh, I'll still be around. I'll still be around. You ain't giving it's got to be about 10 minutes long or fucking 50 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying with Flat Cap not winning all the riders? <laughs> <laughs> and that was Mr. Flat Cap Vapor on his last show on the second reboot. Well, actually, come to think of it, it's the third reboot of the UK Vape Show. Moving on. Twin, just above your shoulder. I can spell blood with my hands. That was the can't. first reboot. <laughs> Because originally the show was hosted by me alone for two hours, and that was a fucking nightmare doing a two-hour show alone. Kira! What did what I do you? now? Ding <laughs> dong! I can say what I wave you. Shakira, Shakira! <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say for once, you know, but thank you for having me on. It means a lot. And to everybody that has subscribed and has supported me and pushed me so far... Thank you, and I love you all, and I hope you all have a good Christmas. If you're not sick to the back teeth of me, you will see me at 9.30 on Sunday on the Vaping Misfits. Probably absolutely knackered from doing an 11 till 11 stint with skin and the rest. But we need to make sure that that hits £200 at least, because not only are you raising money for the homeless, you are also raising £200 minimum to get Nomad to do a Misfit smoothie organised by the one and only Mother. Oh. So, from my yeah. nut to everybody else's, it's all right to be a Fruit Loop in a world full of Cheerios, and I love you. Thank you. Ding dong. <laughs> and that was Kira. Over to our other guest, Mr Skint Vapor. And don't forget to mention the live show, Skint. Don't forget to mention that. Yeah, charity one. That is exactly why we f fucking get Kira in the show. She's amazing. She's fantastic. And she's a gobshite like me. I am. Bob <laughs> on a rod. And I'm Proud good at it. I own you. that shit. Proud gobshites. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much, guys, for inviting me on. And please, listen, this is for homelessness at Christmas. You're sitting down at your Christmas dinner with your family. And it's, I know I'm going to press the fuck out of you. I don't give a shit. Because you're sitting down at Christmas dinner with your families. Having a beautiful Christmas. There's people out there that I'm not, and they're fucking on their Todd alone. Do you know what I mean? And there's, they've got to fuck all, and they're sleeping in their shop doorway. All you've got to do is go to your Just Giving page, and a, one pounds, one pounds will do it. The vaping community as a whole, Aiden, Flatcap, Pud, Vic, and Kira, and so many, as I say, I'd be here all night. I've done it amazing. They're supporting us to help. So please, please, please. Actually, just um, make Tavish, just in case that gets missed in chat, I'll make sure it fucking doesn't. Uh, <laughs> if you raise 300 quid, he is going to shave his head live on stream. Oh. 
I can assure you, McTavish, I will make sure that hits 300 fucking quid. <laughs> <laughs> we also just make sure that if you can't afford it, we understand that it's one of them times of the year mm. where everybody's absolutely, absolutely. It is hard. Even if you just spread that link, just oh, spread yeah. that link, get it out there to other people, it makes a difference. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good show on Saturday. We've got people coming in. We've got fun and games planned, and it's driving me fucking nuts trying to organise it. But uh, it's going to be an absolute blast about two hours, and I'm going to be dying after it. We're all going to be dying after it here at me and the BBL cast and the guests. We're getting guests in. Bar stuff, extra bar stuff, extra get shit, extra, extra fucking everything. Uh, just to try and raise some money for the homeless. And that's all I'm here for, basically, to try and get used to help the homeless. And that's what I want to do. And thank you very much to you guys for having me on. It's appreciated. I love you all. Dear one. Oh. Oh. Kisses. Oh, kiss, kiss. <laughs> he did his own hands. What's the matter you say? You're right over there. I can't do that. <laughs> we just finger people. We can't do that. We just finger all the ladies. <laughs> he has a perfect. <laughs> Oh, and that was Mr. Skint yeah. Vapor, and that was the last UK vape show of 2020. A massive thanks <laughs> to the one and only Flat Cap Vapor for being here for the third reboot of the show. Um, you will be welcome on any time you damn well want, Flat Cap. Oh, any time you want. You're still dead to us after today, but you'll be welcome. Mm. You're welcome on any time you fucking want, Flat Cap. Your corpse will be welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, a massive thanks to the one. Seeing you everywhere. Yeah, I know. He's going to be. It's, it's like. That. It's like he's gone. Thanos has clicked his finger and Gaz is gone. <laughs> yeah, but you're stealing all the most fucking wanking material. That's oh, the problem. Fuck's I'm sake. giving the world plenty of notice. People have known for weeks. He is the high. He is the uh, housewife uh, milf, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a massive thanks, of course, to Mister Pud Puffs, and of course. Mr. Aiden Little Bro Vapes, if it wasn't for these three guys and the way that we clicked when the third reboot of the show came back together, we wouldn't have lasted this long. The the choice for the fourth caster is going to be a difficult one. I'm going to say it now, it's going to be a very, very difficult one and it's not just this show that's going to find it hard for someone to take the place of Gaz, it's going to be the other shows that Gaz, are actually, that Gaz is actually a part of that's going to find it very fucking difficult. Very difficult. Am I making okay. you feel guilty now, Gaz? Am I? Yeah, I you want to enough. stay? Do you want to stay, Gaz? Do you want to stay? <laughs> yeah. want it. I want it. <laughs> and of course, a massive thanks to Kira, who is Shakira, a, Shakira. She, who is, of course, a phenomenal host on the Misfits. And if you haven't subscribed to the Misfits, go and subscribe now because it's the only show that covers that particular topic of mental health. <laughs> in the vaping community and of course she has a fantastic review channel as well yes so go and subscribe to both of them and of course a massive thanks to mr skint this is skint's second time in the show isn't it yes. yeah. massive habit. thanks to skint don't forget to tune in to his 12 hour long charity show starting at 11 o'clock on saturday evening uk time if i'm not dead to the world actually i won't be because i don't have any fucking whiskey whiskey so i probably will be joining in at some point during the 12 hours good i also forgot to mention for the first two hours of the show we have a, a feature anyone that comes on and quoting the cast they've either got to be dressed as the opposite sex or they've got to be naked <coughs> we'll see you about one o'clock then but... <laughs> i thought i was i thought we were coming on after snda fuck me yeah, pod, i'll see you there <laughs> all right i better fucking do some gardening I did tell Gaz that and he said, I'll see you at one o'clock. I like a smooth ride. I, could, uh, I think I'll be in drag. <laughs> I think I'll not be on the first two hours. Yeah. Anyway, that is it cool. from us, folks. We will see everyone on January the 7th, 2021. And I hope to fuck 2021 is going to be a better year than fucking this year. I hope everyone out there has a fantastic Christmas and a happy, safe and prosperous new year. A big thanks to all the spanners out there <laughs> that have looked after us for the past year since doing this show. And a big thanks to every single one of the viewers out there that's kept this show, the UK's number one show to do with vaping. In the UK, we will all see you. Well, apart from Gaz, we will all see you on January the 7th, 2021. Bye! Happy Christmas, everybody. Look after yourselves. Happy Christmas. Can't wait to be a trolling chat. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> I'll troll you so Bye. far.